What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? By gosh, um, oh, boom, and hello to our uh viewers on Instagram, first live ever on Instagram. So, what's up, everybody? It's slushy day. I saw somebody commented on that already. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Christmas on Crescent. I'm Charlie, I'll be your host today. Let's see who else is in the chat today. Got Rob. Rob, Rob was having some fun on Discord uh, today. I saw that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, B Dub. What's up, B Dub? Happy slushy day indeed. Uh, this is the only day of the year where the Vikings have won a Super Bowl. Yeah, it's awesome. Hello, everybody. Uh, oh, what did you Kurt, Kurt say? Tr- miss another one due to work meeting April Fools. I'm actually able to join in today. Yay! Look at you. Look at you. Go. Uh, electric smoke alarms and more. Well, hello to you, electric smoke alarms and more. Uh, Monty's in the house. Hello, what up, Alan? What up, Alan? Um, so, folks, no real set agenda today. Uh, first, uh, live of the month is traditionally a Patreon giveaway. Didn't think anybody believed me today, so no giveaway today. We will do one. Um, in two weeks, in two weeks, no live next Monday. Uh, next Monday is, um, as you all know, there'll be an extra. What? What's your number? What do you guess? Uh, I'm going to say an extra 4 million people, uh, driving in the path of the solar eclipse. There's no hotels anywhere in that path, uh, from Indianapolis to Dallas, Nothing. So no live next week. Uh, we'll be back the week after that. But um, I'm curious how many extra people will actually be out there. Um, I, my number's four million. What do you think? Definitely uh, blue raspberry. If anybody's interested, <laughs> blue raspberry today. Uh, just straight up the raspberry. No alcohol in this bad boy today. Um, does anybody in the chat, or if you're watching this back later, which we most people do. Um, are, do you live in the path of a total eclipse? I'm curious. Uh, eclipse. Um, it's predicted to be overcast. Well, you'll, you'll still get the darkness out of it. You'll still get the darkness. Uh, where's the best place to see the eclipse in the U.S.? It, it's it, there's. You can just kind of Google the path. Um, it's hitting Indiana, Ohio, uh, Texas, parts of Arkansas, parts of Missouri. Um, yeah, all, all those kind of places. How did the ice cream come out? Oh, my God. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Okay, so uh, to settle that, I'll be... You are the totality. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, do me a favor, Chad. Uh, take... I don't know, if, if you have time, I mean, that's... You're going to be otherwise engaged. But if you happen to already be taking photos or videos and you already did it, I don't want you to stop and say, oh, Charlie wants me to take a picture. No, don't don't miss out on it. Um, but if you happen to already be doing that, send me a photo or send me a picture of it and I'll put it up in the live after that. Uh, the ice cream, let me talk to you about the ice cream. So I do slushies all the time. You guys know I do slushies. Um, actually I'm filming a review on this today for Mark. If anybody actually wants slushies, I usually don't cross promote the channels other than ob- the obvious set. Um, but, uh, multi multicasting, uh, Margarita man, um, and I are doing a collaboration And uh, they've never done a discount code ever. Um, So multitasking, the name of my one of my other channels, we're going to talk about what that means here in a little bit. One of my other channels um, is the discount code name for 15 percent off of any of their flavors. So no special links or anything, just multitasking. So it's multitasking. But instead of a T, it's a C. Uh, if you guys want slushies, you don't have to have a, a slushy machine like I do. Just blender it up. Uh, it comes with blender instructions. But today I'm reviewing the blue raspberry. So the ice cream that Giatano is asking about, they, one of my dreams, my lifelong dreams has been to have a commercial grade frosty machine from Wendy's. I, if I win a gazillion dollars, I'm buying a frosty machine, right? Um, but they said, I don't have one. I've been actually looking at into buying one. They're about a thousand dollars ish. Um, depending on which brand and stuff you go to. Um, but Margarita man's like, Hey, we got this thing. It'll turn your slush machine into an ice cream machine. And I'm like, Oh my God. 
So uh, has not been announced yet. I'm the first person to test it. Has they haven't even released it on their we- own website yet? But I'm the first person to, to review it. Review's already been done. Spoiler alert: It's freaking amazing. Now it does not come out as soft serve. It comes out like a frosty, um, that type of ice milk type of thing. Not soft serve like I was hoping for. I got a suspicion, and Jean says unless you add, and she's right, unless you add dairy, unless you add milk, it's not going to be soft serve. So I want to reach back out to them after this video drops, uh, whenever they release it, um, and say, hey, why don't you give me a case of that stuff just so I can experiment with it? You know, but yes, it is the best flavor I've ever had. It's uh, uh, these these bad boys. I actually need to make this a video for the other channel, Giantana. Um, you get me started on the slushies. It's like getting me started on Christmas lights. Ah, I, I, I won't shut up. So I'm uh, 60 more seconds and I'll shut up about it. Um, these things are packed with sugar. They just are 13% sugar at minimum in order to get a nice consistent freeze. Um, but you can only have about two, maybe three before you has just too much sugar. I can't have any more today. Um, not with the ice cream. The ice cream is so addictive. I just one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other, it's so addictive and it's not, it doesn't fill you up or anything. Oh, it's an amazing flavor. I made a peach ice cream and it was fantastic is the short answer to that question, Giordano. Um, yes. Um, I, yes. Boom. Yes. Awesome, Chad. Yeah, send that and I'll throw it into a, a video. Uh, Chris is also in the path. What's up, Chris? Um, so did you uh, open up the ice cream drive through the end? Not just yet, but I, I'm telling you, the ice cream, I think it's going to be an industry. I'm going to shut up about it because I'll, I'll talk about it for another 10 minutes. Last comment on it. I think it's going to be an industry game changer. I think it's it's that dynamite of a flavor. It really is. What's up, Coral? Uh, Rob's in the house, man. We're just chock full of uh, Patreon folks today. The seconds are uh, here and getting the garage cleaned out to hide cars from tonight's fun weather. Yeah, Gene uh, sent me a text earlier because we, we get up at 5 a.m. and uh, go for four miles. And you're like, hey, no getting out tomorrow. It's going to be raining. I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll – uh, also get out. Gene will get out every now and then if it's snowing or if it's freezing. Um, I'll usually get out because there's just it's just fun walking in that stuff. We have all of our Arctic gear from when uh, Gene and I went to the North Pole in, uh, or went to the Arctic Circle to be exact, went to the Arctic Circle in uh, December. Met Santa. You guys have seen that. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. Um, but yeah, when Gene and I went to the Arctic Circle to Lapland, Finland, and uh, yeah, we have all of it. It's easy to walk in. It's yeah, by the end of the four miles, you're just taking stuff off because because you're too hot. So yeah, fun weather indeed. Um, you'll need to add a yes, yeah, yes, yes. Thank you. I did say milk, didn't I? Yes, whipping cream. Um, you know what's fun fact about whipping cream is it can last a long time in a free refrigerator without using it, which I didn't know until I made ice cream about a year ago. What's up, CPL? Uh, Charlie, <laughs> everyone in the chat hugs. Your slushy looks gas. What's up, Christopher? I've not seen you in a chat before. <laughs> good, to, good to see you. Yes, uh, I get a lot of... Uh, we're, I don't mind talking about slushies. Just fair warning, you guys. Um, I get a lot of parents that will email me and say uh, basically two questions. Do you have to add alcohol? You don't. And uh, they say, hey, what's a flavor to... My kids love the ices when I go to Target or whatever. Can I make it at home? Like, yeah. So that's I'm reviewing this to answer their questions. Um, but yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, a uh, slap and kick for being so quick. Ah, oh, look at you. Look at you. Um, so a uh, few things today that if you just kind of get into the chat, no giveaway today, mostly because I didn't believe in it, think anybody would believe me about the giveaway. I uh, see so we got a few folks in the chat today we don't normally have. So, yes, normally the first um, uh, Monday live chat of the month is a Patreon only giveaway. Those are some of the Patreons behind me. We've had a few more come on. Appreciate you coming on to patreon.com and you do give uh, get first access to discount codes. Speaking of discount codes, I guess we kind of cross promoted a new discount code for, for slushies, but uh, Lumeri uh, sent me some lights in December and I, they're like, Hey, do a video on this, please. Uh, we'll hire you. I'm like, cool. I got Christmas lights up. and can't do it. Um, and then my favorite lights as as a uh, serendipitous moment, my favorite light broke on me uh, this weekend, which is the Nova Stella Aurora Lux. Love that light. You can do motion with it. 
I've had it for three years and it ran its course for 20,000 hours. I have it on every night and I do so many different things with it. I'm like, ah, my wall washers went out. I just all a lot of lights went out at the same time. Blue Mary's like, we have brand new wall washing lights. We know you love wall washing lights. I'm like, yes, please send them to me. It's awesome. So I was out filming a little bit on that today. Um, I'll have that video. That video probably won't come out till the end of April. Uh, but that's that's on the uh, if that's it is in the queue. Uh, I'll have a discount code for that. I love Lumera. If you guys don't ever check out videos descriptions, yeah, actually check out videos descriptions. I have lots of links and lots of discounts uh, in my descriptions. I take a lot of pride in making sure that my videos descriptions are packed with information. And uh, we also have a sponsor, new sponsor that's going to come on the show. I'm uh, I don't want to say the word in negotiations, but I'm talking to them. They want to sponsor a live stream. Um, uh, uh, LaPower, you guys have seen them before. In fact, we have a couple folks in the chat today who have won previous LaPower giveaways, so they want to come back on for another uh sponsorship. This time, they want to be an official sponsor, kind of like what um we did with Singri last week. Uh, so we have uh, we'll have some LaPower giveaways. Uh, if you guys don't know LaPower, they specialize in um, and this is going to segue into a new channel we're talking about here soon. Um, they like they they people kind of casually see my YouTube channel has to do with lights and they don't really dig too deep. Well, actually just don't even watch video. They just say, Hey, we saw a great video you did on lights and we want you to do a video on our lights. Like, well, it's a neck light, perfect for traveling, perfect for a plane. What in the world does that have to do with the Christmas channel? And I get so many of those. I decided to start a new channel. What? And to be perfectly blunt, it's going to be a repurposed channel, meaning I have on this channel 300 and some odd videos. On the one that Gene and I do, we have over 500. And I have over 200. I have about 200 on Amazon. And I'm going to take all those Amazon videos, turn them into YouTube videos, and put them into a new channel called Wise Buys by Charlie uh, that is currently has zero videos on it. And it's going to take me a few months to incorporate all the videos there. It's, it's going to take probably, I don't know, 20 minutes of work per video. So it's going to take some time to get it all up. But that will allow me to have more giveaways here on this channel because that will be a video-only channel. I'll never go live on that or anything. I don't see a reason why I would go live. I'm going to go live about Amazon stuff. I'm going to go live on Amazon, which is something I have the ability to do. I just don't do it. Uh, but yeah, Wise Buys by Charlie, that will be chock full of nothing, but uh, discount codes for products and reviews. So it's going to be a little bit of a repurposing. Um, I do a completely different style of video on, on Amazon than I do now, or I do for any of my Christmas on Crestline videos. Um, I don't know. I've, I, I'm diverse as they call it. I'm diverse. Um, I forgot that guy's name. Uh, did you email him and said you're going to contact him? Uh, the hooks? Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, the hooks. Um, uh, Stacy's his name. And uh, Rob here is talking about my interview with Stacy from Canning Systems. And I actually asked him that question while we were there. While we were there with him at Trans World Christmas Convention, I'm like, hey, what about uh, straight lines on a fence? And he had that clip. Um, that he says will go up to two inches in gap, which is, I don't, I guess I don't know what kind of PVC fencing you have. I've had PVC fencing in the past and it was only a one inch gap, uh, on my house before, uh, current house. So I've had it before. Um, I don't want to do PVC fencing again, just because it does not like hail storms. And in Kansas, we get a lot of hail storms. So I had a PVC fence that did not survive, uh, a weekend of, uh, hail storms, plural. But uh, yeah, Stacy yeah, emailed Stacy when the video came out, so last week, and had a bit of a chit chat with him. Um, yeah. Uh, do you have any merch that I can purchase? What's up, Christopher? Look at good looking out, Christopher. Funny you should mention that. Wasn't going to talk about that to the end of the show, but ye soon. I uh, talked to, um, coincidentally enough, name Stacy. Um, talked to her about the hat order. I'm like, hey, it's been a month. He said two weeks. Where's my hat? And she said, we'll have them in a week. So hopefully I hear some news. Uh, I guess we're not going to be back for another two weeks for live chat. So yeah, I'm going to give you the Charlie guarantee that in the next live chat, I'll have hats lined back here. And I'm going to say, 
This is the first order. First come, first served. Uh, Patreon folks will have first dibs. Um, and my legends get hats, so that already takes away two. So, uh, yeah, easiest way to get one to be a Patreon member. Actually, to be a Patreon legend. Um, but, yes, uh, we are still working on uh, merch. I just, I'm just so busy. Just don't have time. Uh, if anybody out there wants to de design merch for me, actually, I have lots of designs. If anybody out there wants to handle my merch store for me, let me know. Give me some emails. Um, uh, I've been having issues with my Nova Stella floodlights. Breach. Do you know if they have a tech support in the states that I can call? I can't find. Not in the states. They don't. They're 100 percent in China. China. Um, tell me what what's your problem with them? I was actually going to do a new video about Nova Stella lights today. Um, and for those that don't know, Nova Stella is a brand of lights. I've done a ton of work with them in the past. Uh, shoot, probably 20 different products. Um, they use an app called Smart Life. I was going to, no one knows how to work smart life because, uh, you know, the basic on off, I want to turn a different color. I want to have it come on and off at the same time. It's great. Cause it works with your smart speaker, but nobody knows that it has a weather app. So I'm like, I need to do five things. You didn't know that your smart life can smart life light can do for you. Like you say, Hey, I want it to come on every time it rains. Boom. Push of a button. So it does stuff like that. But what's the problem you're having with Kurt? Um, did you reach out to the guy I told you about? I don't know. Uh, yeah, the blow mold guy. Um, I have an email in the draft form, but not have not sent it yet. Uh, so one thing, what, what Rob's talking about here, guys, if I have some new folks in the chat, um, I do a, uh, 15 videos in 30 days every July. Uh, and I interview a lot of industry insiders, uh, back again for another year. I'm gonna have some mainstays are going to be on here each and every year. David from learn Christmas lighting. will be here every summer. Um, ABC's the great, uh, Christmas light fight. will be here every summer. Uh, those are kind of the, the two main David's the main pixel guy on YouTube. Uh, I'm the main AC guy on YouTube and the great Christmas light fight combines everything. So I'm always going to have them on, but I have a, uh, I always kind of consider myself like the only rural, um, Christmas YouTuber. Uh, David is a hot, David's awesome at what he does. He's a hundred percent straight. Um, business and intelligent guy uh i goof around a lot um and like to have fun and i do weekly lives i'm the only person who does lives and has christmas themed type of thing um there's a girl out there with a hundred thousand subscribers loves christmas is all about christmas and I, I did not know she existed so that's not real that's not great english is it i did not know she existed yeah that's right um so i'm gonna reach out to her say hey would you like to come on things like that are gonna be different this year blow mold people i really want a blow mold person on and that is what rob's talking about he's asking if i emailed uh, a blow mold guy from youtube so i'm gonna have a diverse group on um i was gonna say trans world christmas expo is going on in uh july this year um in my neck of the woods so that will be some guarantee is going to be a couple of the episodes um and what i learned this week is they are not renewing dun 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 the Christmas and July fairies contest. That's not back this year. So I'm going to have to rethink how I want to do giveaways for July. Uh, for those that don't know, ever, and CPL, uh, Angela from crazy poppy lady, she's a yarn tuber and yarn, the yarning community started this, um, four years ago, but they're not going to do it this year. And it's, uh, where you just comment and say, hi, say whatever in a dedicated video. Um, and I make, pick a random comment on july 15th and then my winner that person wins a prize for me and that winner goes on to the grand prize and that person wins a uh, prize from every single youtube channel that was involved the first year i think it was 40 or 50 and then the second year was like 100 people that was a huge giveaway uh no more of that that's done so i'm gonna do something similar just on this channel i don't think i'll bring in other channels unfortunately there's there's not too many christmas folk uh, that have channels. I, I implore you to make a Christmas channel. I know you've been thinking about it. Uh, Steve has a Christmas channel. Uh, Steve, I saw, I thought I saw Steve in the chat. Steve, boom, Christmas channel right there does uh, a lot of cool unboxings and stuff. So there are Christmas tubers in here. Uh, haven't call Rob. Did you reach out? Are you read that? Kurt, my floodlights lost connection with smart life and my router. 
I can't get them to enter pairing mode. Tried everything. Yes, I got you, Kurt. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I got you. So if you, and hopefully, it depends which light you have. Some of the floodlights come with a remote. If your floodlight came with a remote, hold the on button down for three seconds. It could take five seconds, but hold that down, and that compels them to go in the pairing mode. Uh, second thing is, I, I assume you've already done this. You plug them in and out. You plug them in, and then plug it out. Wait at least one second. Sometimes it takes two seconds. And then plug it back in. Repeat that three times. On the fourth time, leave it in. And then within five to seven seconds, they should start flashing. That compels them to go into pairing mode. Um, if you uh, have them plugged into a dedicated light switch, then it's easier. You're just on and off with the light switch. And then the fourth time, you leave it on. Um, it got too big too quick. I only did the first. It, it did get too big. It, it did. Uh, turn them on and off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought for when I started reading that comment, Angel, I'm like, I thought you were going to ask him. Did you uh, did you reboot your computer? Because you know how IT always tells us, well, did you restart your computer? Yeah, I did that before I called you, IT. Yes. What's up? Hey, there she is. Uh, just now seeing your live stream pop on. Well, welcome to the event. It's always great to have you in here. You know, I was in uh, Dana, Dana from One or Less Crochet. I was in her live chat Thursday or Friday. And she had a cool thing I've never seen done before. And one thing I wanted, that's, that's great that uh, you said, popped in and said, huh? That's one thing I wanted to ask you guys. She did a, it was genius, really. She did a live stream, a pop-in live stream, where she in the chat, um, well, she would leave the link to join the live stream. So if you have a computer, you have a webcam, and you have something you want to talk about with the group, boom, just pop in and be on screen with her. And she invited me in. I'm like, hey, I'm at work right now. I can't. Uh, but that is a genius idea. So sometime soon, I'm going to have to kind of think of the logistics because, well, let's be honest. There's weird people out there. And if you, it's a weird person and you got a bunch of, like, chains and knives hanging in the background, maybe don't want that person on. I've known Dana for years, and she, I think she kind of thinks that I'm a safe guy to come on. And, and I talk a lot, so I'm going to fill the, fill the gaps. So. But I want to do something like that. Do something like that. Um, no remote for me. No button on the light. Just try to turn it off again. I'll try the fourth time suggestion. Yeah, fourth time is kind of key because it, it tells you on the instructions and all their instructions, do it three times. It actually means four. Uh, it's one service I've offered to Nova still in the past. I'm like, hey, you can just hire me to proofread um, your instruction manuals. I've offered that to a few companies, actually, because it gets frustrating after a while. Uh, you don't actually mean this. They have actually hired me to uh, do their uh, apps before, but never for their printed instructions. Uh, what's Cindy saying? Uh, boom. Ah. Brain, what's up, Brain? Just got in here. There's a gas leak. Oh, Central Ridge, so I had to go check it out. Uh, Central Ridge is a, an intersection. Braden is in here in town with me. Uh, quite a lot of uh, yarn tube community to do it. Yes. Really? Did not know that. Wow. See, I need to, I, I watch, I watch you. Uh, I'll tune in and watch Cindy. I'll tune in and watch, um, I'm drawing a blank on her name. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'll tune in and watch, it'll come to me later. Uh, KB Fibers, Karen. Um, and then uh, Dana, of course, and a few others. Um, yeah, I've not, that's the first time I've seen it. Um, you have a, a back room that we sit in and wait. Yes, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm familiar with that. Yeah, so there's a waiting room. So if you were to pop in right now, uh, you don't go on screen yet until just yet. So, yeah, so that's interesting. So, um, by the way, yeah, hey, I'm not quitting YouTube, April Fools. I'm, I think everybody kind of got that special. I put that thumbnail out there, and then Rob was having some fun on Discord with that today. Hey, got to tune in. Charlie's done. He's calling it quits, guys. Let's go. And it's been in the chat today. Ben, if you're in this chat, say something in the chat because I need I gotta give you a compliment. So Ben, if you're in the chat, I haven't seen you chat yet, but type something real quick. Or if you're watching this later, say hi in the comments. Um Ben, you guys see him in the chat sometimes. For folks that didn't know, is that Ben? No, For folks that didn't know, we did a um uh, you got basketball going on right now, the NCAA tournament, the men's basketball championship. 
And I uh, didn't think about this till after the live last time. I'm like, I ah, shoot, I should have talked about that, and I didn't do it. So I just reinvited everybody who did it with us last year for the for the bracket challenge. Ben's got NC State in the Final Four. He's just walking away with this year's tournament. Good job, you Ben. Wow, that's impressive. Um, it did freak me out. Yeah, Carl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told. I uh, so also. I'm. Eh, I don't have time to show you guys. Um, I'm decent. They call it Photoshop because you can just use that as a verb now. Um, so I'm pretty decent. I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm excellent actually at making, um, of editing, uh, photos and videos. And so I took a picture of my living room and made it appear as if I'm in my living room, um, with a broken leg and like, Hey guys, we have, my family has a, has a text chat string. Hey guys, they all know to, to avoid me on, uh, April fools. And we're talking about April Fool's here now. Um, and uh, they're like, yep, don't believe it. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, hashtag free, free vacation, guys. I, I'm, I'm just going to chill at home chill at home for a while. I'm like, yeah, we'll believe you tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, I get it. So what is, does anybody out there have a fantastic, actually, this might have been a good one, uh, Angela, um, Cindy, to have uh, people in the back room to, to come up and talk about April Fool's pranks. So those that don't know, and I don't, I think there's anybody in the chat, maybe Braden that knows this, but um, before I met my wife, and spoiler, she shut it down. Um, my best friends and I, my friend group, we didn't do April Fool's Day. We did April Fool's Month. So some of the things I've done in the past when that was going on, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie about uh, a group of friends who just grew up playing tag through adulthood, and you had a Windows up. They made a movie about it. That's kind of what my friends and I did with April Fool's month. So I've glued all, all the uh, exterior doors shut to uh, some a buddy's house before. Um, he put a tarantula in my shower one time. Uh, that was his backup plan because he couldn't fit the horse into the house. Um, we've done a ton of different pranks. I mean, a ton. Uh, go home. No windows left in your house. Where are your windows out? No clue. Uh, so... And I can never figure out how he got into the house. Actually, I'm not to put that on YouTube on how he got into my house. That, that'd be a dumb thing to do, right? So I'm not going to do that. Not needless to say, I did not know you could break into a house a certain way. So I'm not going to put that on YouTube. That'd be stupid. Um, but so I, I've told this story before, and it's the greatest April Fool's prank of my life that was pulled on me. I thought I'd share it with you today. Many of you folks have already know the story. You've already heard it. Uh, but today I'm going to tell it in detail. You have, may have not heard some of these details before. Um, what up, Darren? Mr. Wednesday, okay to tie integration? Yeah. Um, yeah, Wednesday's the one day I'm not working late this week. So, yeah, cool. Absolutely appreciate that. So, though, folks, side note, uh, Darren here, he's up here somewhere. He's uh, he, Oh, he's right, he's right there. That is Darren. Darren uh, supplies the power for my show. 110 volts, if you're curious. Power my Christmas light show. And Darren uh, is talking about coming over to uh, reverse the power. April Fools. Appreciate that, Darren. Thank you so much. Darren is a great, great friend of the show. Great friend of the show. Uh, greatest April Fools prank of all time. You guys ready? Because uh, you might be telling the story later on. You guys know that I have a wife and her. Her name is Jean. Fun fact, I've not always had a wife. Not always had a wife named Jean. Jean is my first marriage, uh, first and only wife. I've walked down the aisle, said my dues. How did we meet, you ask? We met because of an April Fool's prank. So there I am at the bar with my buddies, shooting pool, minding my own business. And my buddy, Jay Shanks. What's up, Jay? He goes up to the bar. And Jean, who I don't know, complete stranger, never met her in my life, is with her running group. Some of I wonder if anybody in the chat is familiar with the Hash House Harriers. They call themselves a drinking club with a running problem. They literally run from bar to bar. So she's out with her. They're worldwide. It's a huge, any country you're in, guarantee uh, if you're in a at least a decently sized city, Google that, Hash House Harriers, and I guarantee you have um, a group in your town. It's a fun group. It's eclectic. It's lawyers. It's surgeons. 
it's mechanics, it's everybody just having fun. So she's out with that group at a bar. Bar is called Jerry's. And uh, my buddy Jay goes up to, again, then stranger Gene and says, I'm going to buy all your beer the rest of the night. If you go up to my buddy over there, slap him as hard as you can and tell him, screw you for not calling me last night. And she says, I drink a lot of beer. Point this dude out. So I'm sitting there, mind my own business, shooting some pool. Sorry, my legs are starting to go to sleep. Um, and I get a hand across the face like I owed her money. And I'm like, who the insert beepity beeps are you, lady? And she points to Jay, says, Miller Light, please. And I'm like, ah, I get it now. I'm like, uh, yeah, don't ever do that again. It's nice to meet you. 18 months later, we're getting married, not joking, in the Bermuda Triangle on Friday the 13th. Um, so we're sitting there, and we're, we're we getting married on the beach. And on our wedding night, wedding evening, we got married in the morning. In the afternoon, we're at a resort called Sandals. And Sandals had this best man contest. Not like best man in wedding contest, just who's the best man at the resort? Who's the, who's the toughest guy? And it was push-ups. I've always been great at push-ups. Push-ups, beer chugging. It was guy stuff. Um, and they said that it came to, hey, what's your best pickup line? I said, I don't have a pickup line, but I'll tell you how I met my wife. And then Gene is in the audience, and it's in this auditorium, and all the guys are on stage. And uh, Gene shouts out, demonstration, demonstration. So the crowd is then saying, demonstration. So the DJ who's running the contest, hey, what, is, is, is you newly married? Hey, bride, uh, come up on the stage to recreate the event. Uh-huh. Again, slaps me like I owe her money. Yep. Except she didn't slap me with her fingers like she did when we met. You guys familiar with what a Palm Hill strike is? Yeah, it's a, uh, she had so much adrenaline going because there's 75, 100 people in the audience that she actually hit me in my jaw with her, with her, with her Palm Hill. Broke my tooth. Broke my tooth on her wedding day. So, uh, and that is, I think, day three of a seven-day stay in the Bahamas. Well, that was fun. So, that is my April Fool's story about how a prank, April Fool's prank, got me a wife. What do you think? What do you think of that, guys? What do you think? Uh, boom. Uh, and the best girl ever. Yeah. Uh, Angela loves uh, my wife's badassness, to coin a phrase. Because she is. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, there might be too much to type uh, your greatest April Fool's prank that you've pulled or had pulled on you. But in a, in a few sentences, what's the synopsis of something that you pulled? Uh, like today, I just did a Photoshop uh, picture to my family. I remember being, I remember how I found out that April, that there were 31 days in March. Because on March 31st, uh, I told my mom, I was probably seven, eight years old, like, hey, you got a mouse behind you if you care about that. And she jumped up, screamed, all that kind of good stuff. And I said, hi, mom, April Fool's. She goes, yeah, that's tomorrow. I'm like, really? There's not 30 days? I'm like, all right. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, my. That's, yeah, yeah, good times. Ooh, yeah, it was good stuff. Uh, How do you like your football team? Uh Oh, I saw something about that. I'm like, yeah, I'm not opening it up. I do wish that Rasheed Rice was an April Fool's joke. I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but Kansas City Chiefs receivers had a car that was rented to him, crashed it in, in uh, Dallas, and then apparently the whoever was driving it or whomever was driving it left the scene. So I don't know if he's going to be um, there next year. Uh, thank you, Monty. Thank you, Monty. Uh, I want to do a live a recreation on the show. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, she is at work, Kurt, but thank you for that. Thank you for that. Bill, true love hurts. 
True love hurts. What's up, Bill? One of our very first uh, Patreon members. In fact, I, you and Chris Bimsey were one and two. One and two, you and Chris. I'm going to take a heavy side now. I got my adrenaline was going as I was telling that story and reliving it. I was right back there on the beach with the with the wind in my face and, and the smell of sand. Uh, takes a good one. Boom. Uh, so what the, the merry uh, garage celebrations. Garage celebrations that uh, Monty Monty kind of turned me on to. Um, oh, and Monty, did I speaking of Monty? Did I, was I smart enough to load that picture up? I wonder if I was. I know I downloaded it. So Monty guys and uh, Laura, I don't think Laura's in the chat today, um, but Monty and Laura won some uh, banners from us. And uh, I think I can load that up really quickly because I, I queued it up and then just didn't. Um, I bet you if I search Monty on my computer, it'll load it up real quickly and then it won't be too distracting. I bet you we can find it. M O N T E. Um, maybe this is it. Let's see what picture this is. It, it says Monty Prize. I don't know which prize this is. You've won a few. Nope, that is not the load the thing. Well, I apologize, Monty. I'll put it on the next. Uh, I guess when I prepared that. Um, how about instead? And again, sorry, I know this is bad TV, as I say, but it should be very easy if I can just find it. M O N T E. Let me search this folder. Boom, there it is. Um, yep. Okay, let me get, I can load it up now. No, I almost, I almost ended the, almost ended the uh, live. All right, this will take two seconds. And I'll show you what Monty did with his banner. Uh, uh, all right, here we go. Uh, boom. Be done in five seconds. So uh, I sent Monty, the ban Monty and Laura the banner. And you know what I actually forgot to do? I forgot to take a standalone uh, picture of it prior to sending it. So I love that you took your own. Here's Monty's prize right here. Uh, 2024 first place static Christmas display. Christmas on Christmas Island. Fan Appreciation Awards. Got the Santa Claus on there. And has... Uh, um, has Monty's name there underneath the Santa Claus, but that is his current indoor uh, decorations. Very neat. But you taking a picture of that Monty allows me with my editing skills, I can um, crop that everything else out and just take that banner and use that for if I ever need to use that for anything else. So thank you for taking that, Laura. If you're watching this later, do the same for us, please. Of course, you you're probably not going to put yours up uh, until Christmas time. So that, I think, is going to be the standard prize uh, for first, second, and third. Uh, going fourth, uh, Terry and MJ uh, Mangum, of course, won um, the grand prize. Um, and I didn't realize I could do cool editing stuff until after I did Terry's already. So, yeah. So thank you, Monty, for sending that in. I appreciate that about you. Uh, subject was banner. Banner. I uh, have to go for Hey. Appreciate you coming in, Cindy, and saying hi. Uh, have a, uh, yeah, I hope you had a pass to Easter. Talk later. Boom. All right. Uh, so I'm also excited that uh, those of you popping in later, this is our first ever Instagram live video. Um, we'll start to make that a weekly thing. Or not a weekly thing, but anytime I do a live, I'll also do a live on Instagram. So if you're somewhere uh, that your work or whatever blocks YouTube and some do, uh, maybe, maybe Instagram's the way to go for you. Just throwing that out there. Uh, oh yeah. Garage celebrations. That's what I was talking about. Um, I was going to have that, the flag video coming out probably this weekend actually. Um, and then, uh, we got Memorial day coming up next month. So if you guys seriously need, um, and I have a, uh, what is the discount I get for garage celebrations? Is it 10%? I actually forget what it is. Uh, I have that discount code on Patreon, I believe. Uh, but yeah, you get a discount uh, of the garage celebrations. I think it's 10%. Um, but they are hands down the best way to decorate. Um, yeah, I did not realize how many flag holidays there were. Um, one site I, I saw included Christmas. Like, eh, Christmas isn't really... Um, you know, I can pull that up, actually. Christmas really isn't um, something I assume I go with uh, garage flag days. 
that list on the, yeah. So here are the flag days that you can, that I can use uh, this banner for 4th of July, obviously Memorial day, veterans day, flag day, president's day, labor day, inauguration, inauguration day. I did not realize was something you're supposed to take the flag for, but saying that out loud, like, yeah, obviously inauguration day, Patriot day. I always forget Patriot day is a thing. Nine 11. Cause it's a, one of our newest holidays. I don't forget about nine 11. Obviously I forget that that's what that day is now called. Uh, Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. Yeah, Pearl Harbor Day. Uh, Columbus Day, Constitution Day, September 17th, if anybody's curious. Uh, Martin Luther K- Martin Luther Jr. Day. And then they count New Year's, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Uh, I wouldn't even argue that Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I don't know if that's a, a flag day. I guess it is. He was, he was political. Yeah, so yeah, I, I guess I now no, I worked that through out loud. Yeah, I get that. But Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's? Eh, I don't know if there's a flag days. Uh, did you have a garage celebration discount code for us? Let me go over to Patreon and pull that video up or pull up. Uh, can you search on Patreon? I don't ever actually look at my own stuff. Um, that was a while ago. Um, if I, f- uh, hey, there's Beverly D'Angelo. You guys have not watched, if you if Patreon folks are in there, um, if you haven't watched Beverly D'Angelo's video, it's different than the one I put on, um, YouTube, if you guys want to go back and watch that. Oh, shoot. Did I not release that on Patreon? I don't see a flag on there. I bet you I didn't. Shoot. Oh, load more. Sorry, bad TV, I know. Um, I know I, I had to it for the last banner, right? Uh, there's North Pole stuff. First video from the art. There it is. Um, grab celebration. Uh, yes, it's 10% off. And let me copy this, and I'll put it in the chat right now. Look at that. Thank you, Kurt, for mentioning that. Uh, boom. There is a 10% off code. You have to follow that code, follow that link. Um, I'll put that link. Can I do that while I'm live? If I can see if I can do this while I'm live. Um, if I can put that into the video's description while I'm live, that way you can just click on it. Hopefully it shouldn't take too much bandwidth, right? It's just opening up one, one more YouTube page content. Look at Kurt get coming up with good ideas. Um, and then, yeah, I can actually. So, boom. That link is now in this video's description underneath the first paragraph. So, boom. So, it's in the chat for you. That link that is on the screen now. Um, you can click on that later, but no, I don't think you can click on that now during the live. I don't think it becomes a URL, a uh, clickable URL until um, after the live is done. So after this live is done, if you're watching this back later, you should be able to click on that in the chat. Uh, what's the link for the banner company used for the winter banners? Okay. Um, that would be in the videos. That should be in that, that video. Um, that will be, where's my, I've done a lot of videos. Um, have I not released that video on YouTube? Wow, I didn't. I just left that for Amazon. I just left that for Amazon. Um, I can release a video about that on here. So uh, that's what I'll do. I'll do that. Um, who's that? Giotano asking that? Yes, I will. Uh, Giotano, I will. Um, I'll release a video about that. I have. It'll be my Amazon video. It won't look quite right. I won't say my normal stuff, but I'll release that. Um, I bet you I can release that later today for you. Um, and then uh, the link will be in the video description for that. So yeah, I'll do that as soon as we get done with the live. I'll edit that. Shouldn't take me but 20 minutes to edit it. 20 minutes to make a thumbnail. Um, and then it's only, I think, a four-minute video. So. Um, YouTube probably take 30 minutes to make that up to 4K resolution. Sometimes it takes an hour because all my videos are in 4K, except for lives, which is in 1080p because that's all that StreamYard does. Um, so, yeah, I'll have that for you tonight. So you can, if you want to – they do, I think, 15 different sizes. Um, and cool folks to talk to also. You're <laughs> slacking. Well, fair enough, fair enough. Um so are you going to film the April Fool's gag with your wife? Um, 
I wouldn't mind that being alive. So in addition to that, why, I guess, and no one's asked this, but one question you may have been thinking and, and didn't type in, in the comments to ask is, what in the world would possess your buddy to do that? And I'm going to tell you three words possess my buddy to do that. Neil Patrick Harris, a.k.a. Barney on How I Met Your Mother. Um, Neil Patrick Harris is one of my favorite actors, and I love that character, Barney. Um, to me, that is right up there with Al Bundy. I think those two are on the same level. And so we, for many, for many years, my group of buddies uh, would do slap bets. Some people bet money. I don't really gamble, um, but I'll do a slap bet. Didn't usually, don't usually lose. Uh, I do. Somebody, one of my buddies has a video. Uh, we call him Big Bob. So Big Bob, I don't think you watch this, but in case you tune in, Big Bob is six foot seven, three hundred and something pounds, and I lost a bet to it, so I had to get slapped. It was a football bet. I forget what it was. Um, something to do with the Chiefs, and he slapped me. I saw stars. That dang near knocked me out. Um, and he and he said. Yeah, man, I didn't really even touch you that hard. I'm like, well, when you're when you're swinging a hundred pound arm, so you'll be happy to know. Been married to Jean for twelve years. Uh, been with her almost fourteen. So it's been very, it's been a long time since I've taken part in those type of sillinesses. But uh, slap bets just kind of went out. We just stopped, kind of stopped doing them, uh, mostly because I think maturity set in. Um, yeah, but yeah, so that is why uh, that course of action uh, took place. I'm uh, still trying to figure out Barney's Asian gambling name. I don't remember. Um, I actually, uh, uh, have you met Chuck? I don't know the context to that. Um, I remember Barney's doppelganger episode or the doppelganger episode where Barney met his doppelganger, the, uh, the doctor. That was a fun one. Um, I don't remember who Ted's was. I remember Lily's was a, a dancer. I just, I just remember Barney's the best, but, and they all had double doppelgangers, right? Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's what motivated that to happen. And I had a point, I don't remember what my point was in that. Um, but uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So, uh, Wise Buys by Charlie. Going to be a new channel. That's uh, already a channel. I just need to post videos on it. Again, if you're late and you want some slushies, go to Margarita Man. Actually, pretty cheap. They're, they're 19 bucks for a half gallon of concentrated jug. Uh, I got one right here, actually. I got a bunch of them. This one is Blue Hawaiian. Blue Hawaiian. Um, which I'm curious. I bet I'm hoping it has pineapple and coconut in it. Uh, I have probably a dozen that I need to get to to review. Uh, I have a lot of slushies. All I'm kind of doing uh, somebody I forget who. I don't think it was anybody from this group suggested a uh, recipe. No, it was a uh, it was a uh, it was a restaurant here suggested a uh, uh, strawberry cheesecake slushie. I'm like, ah, cheesecake is. I usually I have cheesecakes for my birthday cake. Fun fact: maybe you didn't know about me. Um, Cheesecakes are my go-to cake. Uh, Barney's was was Lily's obstruction. Um, obstetrician, yes, yes, yes. Uh, when Barney introduced Ted in the first episode to what's her name? Have you met Ted? Uh, uh, Robin, Robin, Robin Shabatsky of the Boston Shabatskys. So. Um, I have had the the pleasure of uh, chatting like you are with me with Neil Patrick Harris because he is a, a member of the same whiskey society that I am, uh, the Scotch uh, Malt Whiskey Society. Um, so he's a uh, member, and I have several of Neil Patrick Harris's whiskeys over there. In fact, um, two middle fingers of Scotch is my favorite one that he uh, chose. Fun fact, and um, also. Um, Nah, I won't mention that. I was going to talk about the set and stuff. I like to mix stuff up from time to time, and it's about time to uh, mix up sets again. And I got a hankering to do a green screen. 
I don't know. I'm no, I have no ex- real experience in green screens. I do a little bit of it on my Amazon channel. Um, or for Amazon videos, rather not my Amazon channel, but for Amazon videos on Amazon. Um, not a ton, not a ton. Um, boom. Uh, so Larry garage celebrations. I'm going to do, um, the banner video for Giatano, um, here shortly. Oh, I bet you, I bet you I can have that up by five. I bet you I can have it up. I do have to, I'm going to take that back Giatano. Uh, it depends when my boy gets home. Uh, he's got prom and we have to go get him a tux. Uh, my boy, um, and, oh, let's talk about my son for a second. Uh, put on some uh, bragging hats and going to give you guys some tea here, as the kids say. Uh, he had uh, We had the state championship last Saturday. My boy finished ranked seventh in the state for his weight class. Um, he took uh, tied for second for squats at 365, no, yeah, 365 pounds. Um, he, uh, it was, so it was deadlift, it was squats, and it was bench. Um, squ- squats is his, was his best one. I actually don't remember. 365 is right for squats. Um, I remember, I think that's what he did for his deadlift. Um, not that y'all really care too much, but I'm going to brag about my boy for a minute. Um, uh, that's his numbers from two years ago. I don't know. He, he, he did a lot. So it ended up ranked seventh in the state. And then this morning he was not supposed to be here. He's supposed to ship out to the air force, uh, for MEPS. Those I know, um, like Kurt, uh, Kurt, your air force, right? Um, I know there's several military members in our chat today, uh, but he was supposed to ship out for MEPS today, which is uh, step one of joining the military. Uh, he took his ASVAB, aced his ASVAB, got an 82. Uh, so he's actually going to got to go do MEPS, then he's got to do MEPS again. But anyway, he's supposed to do that today. He's supposed to go to the Air Force today and uh, do his initial swear in. Um, but the uh, competition took a lot out of him. He's worn out, no energy. And he's like, I don't want to go down there. And my first impression of the Air, Air Force Air Force folks have of me as me with no energy, not being excited about being there. So he's going to go next week instead. So next Monday uh, during the solar eclipse, my boy will be um, driving uh, to Oklahoma with a bunch of other recruits to swear into the military. Boom. Air Force 22 years. I I knew it. I knew it. So uh, my boy will be joining. um, Well, could be joining. Uh, His recruiter is also a Space Force recruiter. And uh, they said, well, when you get back from MEPS, we'll put a package together, put that to Space Force and to see if uh, Space Force wants you. She's a dual recruiter. Uh, he wants to do cyber uh, stuff. So she goes, ah, the easiest way to guarantee you get the job you want uh, is to do Space Force. So I think we've only had one taken to Space Force from our area. Um, so that's all I know about. I guess it's been a great question to ask the recruiter and I didn't do it. So, yeah. Rob's Army. Cool. I'll do that. I'll appreciate that about you. Um, uh, has anyone reached out to uh, out to from Great Christmas Light Fight after your fans' appreciation? Uh, no, not this year, which is actually surprising. Um, they've done that every other year. So what uh, uh, was that, Steve? Yeah. So what Steve is asking is normally I'll get an email from AJ, who's uh, the, one of the casting directors for Great Christmas Light Fight, or for Alicia. Um, who's the executive producer and say, Hey, we like to, we want to get a hold of insert name. Two years ago, they didn't email me name. They didn't, they did not email me asking for uh, people until oh, I was going to say July. I think it was August. So it could be, they just haven't watched it yet. They don't need yet anybody yet. So that they could be as as that. Uh, so that's what uh, Steve's asking about. So not yet, but I, we've had some, we had some dynamite acts in there. We just did. Um, we didn't have the numbers I wanted this year, but the, the acts we have, I'm, I'm always impressed with your guys' shows. Um, I'm a guy who has a camera and a computer and I know how to you YouTube. Um, but I, I would wager that I have the worst show of anybody in this chat. And I say that proudly. I have, I, I, yes, I love that you guys are awesome. Um, and I, I easily think I have the worst one. Not that mine's bad. It's just, I haven't really upgraded anything in a decade. So when I first started doing lights in my town, it was me and like three other guys and there were no pixel shows. Now everybody's got at least what I got. Um, and then um, I think there's probably six pixel shows in town now. 
And then with what Twinkly's doing, you can do a whole animated light set, light show just with your phone using all Twinkly lights. Um, and not to mention what Govi's got going on. Uh, Govi's a company I want to work with, um, but can't get them to return an email. So that's okay. You know what I am? I do have discount codes for Govi, even though I've not done anything with Govi. They did allow me to get discount codes. You know what I need to do? I need to do a discount code. I need to do an entire live stream just about discount codes. I'm going to write that down. And if I don't do it next time, guys, maybe that'll be my next live. Why don't we plan on that? Why don't we plan on my next live just being discount codes? You guys think that's a good idea? You think that's a bad idea? You think it's what kind of idea? Um, now, if I forget about it or don't have time, just remind me. But if you guys, uh, so I got Govi codes, I got Nova Stella codes, I got banner codes, I got uh, slushy codes. I've got, I uh, don't think I have any codes for La Power. I got Singri. I don't have any codes for Singri, I don't think. I got, I'll say, at least 10 companies that I have discount codes on. And I'm just brainstorming here with you guys, just brainstorming. Uh, I could take what five minutes to talk about each code and the company and what I think of. I can do that. I can do that. Um, Arlene, see you. What up, Arlene? Arlene, not seen you in the chat before, so good to see you. Um, you like it? Okay. Uh, here's Eddie, always up for discounts. What's up, Eddie? Um, so yeah, discount codes. My favorite code. Well, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for Nova Stella. Although, I, have you guys seen this video? There's a guy, I, I don't remember his name. I, I've watched just the one episode he has. But he went to, he got, he bought the permanent outdoor strip lights from Govi, Nova Stella. He had six different companies. And he had, uh, do I have that device here? He's got a, a light reader. I don't have it up here, I don't think. I think it's in my office. Uh, he's got a light reader that he could read what, the like the lumen output of each lights. Nova still ranked bottom last, ranked, ranked last, which I was kind of surprised by. Govi, he had Govi, Govi Pro. He had both Govis on there. Um, I th think he said he liked the Govi, not the Govi Pro better, but it's, that was time consuming. If I would have, uh, that, uh, I'm hoping that guy's retired. He's, he's younger than me, but that would have taken so long to do. So kudos to him from having time to do it and for doing it because that was an amazingly educational video. Disney codes, no Disney codes yet. Speaking of Disney, and I haven't seen her in the chat in a long time. Uh, she is a Patreon member, but Stacy, you guys maybe know her as MS Lights. Um, and I don't remember the name of her website, but her and her husband, uh, Mark, they have an entire uh, website dedicated to Disney products that they make. They have the license form, and they make, um, I don't know if they're like you, Chad. And they have the laser engraver. I know they do a lot of woodworking. Uh, so, yeah, I've seen her, but it's, I always forget to talk about her website. Now she, she, She's uh, been in here before talking about it, too. So, um, yeah. So we're going to plan on, unless I forget or get busy, uh, we're going to plan on me, which will basically just consume of me going to Patreon and hitting Control F and putting in discount and seeing how the discount codes I have to remind myself I don't keep a master list anywhere and there, there is a ton in every video's description um but what i'm gonna do on that just, just i, I want to include as much as i can if i don't have at least 10 uh light companies i'm going to incorporate other codes that i have just for other stuff um some of that will have to do with the other channel as well um just so you guys know of all these discount codes like uh for the other channel i have a, a discount no, it's not a discount because you can't discount alcohol but i have a company that will deliver alcohol to you now angela in europe is probably used to amazon doing that for i think amazon also does that in england uh but in uh ireland you just have amazon deliver your whiskey or your beer or your uh long drinks or whatever I'm like ah that'd be awesome it's a doordash for alcohol uh, Charlie, did you ever get in touch with any of the distributors to the big box stores? Nope. Uh, nothing but crickets, nothing but crickets. Uh, some people know who I am. Some people don't, I don't know why anybody there would, but, um, no, I have, I don't, I don't get a lot of my emails answered, uh, just cause they, I think they think I'm a scam. 
I don't think they think I'm real. Um, I get a ton of uh, phishing uh, emails. I get a ton of trying to say, hey, we're a light company. Download this contract. Like, have you guys heard of, um, uh, if you if you do a projection map, you may have heard of this, uh, DaVinci. What is the, it's the DaVinci editing software. I use CyberLink. Videos for CyberLink are down in the video description below. Uh, DaVinci something is editing code. Anyway, they send me stuff all the time or somebody does pretending to be them say, hey, we want to hire you $5,000 to create a YouTube video for us. Download this contract and sign it and we'll give you half payment immediately. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not downloading your phishing stuff, dude. Not going to happen. So um, it used to be on Google when you email, when you send somebody an email through uh, Gmail, you used to be able to right click it and say, this is a phishing. You should be able to tag it as a phishing uh, email. You can't do that anymore. I don't know. That was very convenient. It doesn't go to spam. It blocks them immediately. gets rid of them immediately. So. I don't know if you guys have that kind of same problem that I do, but uh, we're not as enlightened in that sense. Um, uh, yeah, some people think I'm a scam, I think, and that's okay. I get it. Uh, the Christmas light genre on YouTube is extremely small. It just is. There's me, or Steve, there's a handful of folks, right? So, uh, so yeah, so next Monday... My kids getting sworn in to the uh, at MEPS. Um, it's not the official basic training uh, swearing in, but it's basically swears you into the military. Maybe uh, Kurt has a better descriptor of it. But that's how the recruiter uh, defined it to us. So, um, yeah, my son's a badass. Yeah, ranked seventh in the state for powerlifting, and he's going to go be a military man and carry on. I'm the uh, my grandfather, uh, was too scrawny during the world war two to get in. He got rejected by every single, uh, core, every single branch. He, uh, he was able to join the uh, coast guard go. And my other grandpa was, was a Navy man. So, and then everybody prior to that. Yep. A delayed entry. Gotcha. 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 Uh, boom. So guys, I think, um, what is uh Instagram saying? Uh, oh, disconnected the live stream. So yeah, Instagram only lets you do a live for one hour. That's we just went. That's why it went dark. No, I mean. So yeah, everybody from our Instagram feed that turns tunes back in and watches us on YouTube. Hello, thanks for tuning in on Instagram and on YouTube. I think that's about it for me today, guys. Unless you have something you want to talk about, um, and also let, let me use this as a networking uh, thing. If you guys know of somebody that would be a value to the Christmas and July extravaganza, reach out to them and say, hey, uh, Charlie might want you on the show. Are you even interested? Can I give him your contact information? And if he or she says, yeah, then send it this way. And maybe it's something somebody we could put on the show. Um, type of thing. Um, less than six months before install, everyone that uh, programs a light show or building props let go. Yeah. Let's go. Um, indeed, it is. Uh, I, oh, that kind of gets me, Steve, on the mind track of um, what should you do every month if you have a Christmas light show or your holiday decorator, which kind of which makes also makes me think about the uh, the newsletter that I'm going to start doing in July. Still working on the newsletter. It's a uh, uh, I'm at step one. Really, I have uh, four articles already written for it just need to do it and then we'll release that in christmas in july extravaganza series that'll be a part of that and it'll be uh probably right now unless for some reason i have the need to do more it'll be at least just once a month maybe two but probably one um i don't see it being a weekly thing most folks are into decorations like you and i are so i think if i think if you're going to be on the list as long as I, my goal would be like 100 people if, yeah 100 people can find value out of it then i don't mind doing it I know I would have appreciated that when I was first starting out, getting a, a newsletter from somebody saying, hey, I know it's April 1st, but here are the five things you need to do right now to save your uh, December self time. So I would have appreciated the heck out of that. So that's why I'm doing it. Uh, hello, Patty Ford. Patty Ford, April Fool's. Patty Ford. Uh, Patty Ford is not usually in the chat, but her name. Right there. 
Hello, Patricia. So Patricia was part of a prank that got pulled on her today. Yeah, Patricia, part of a prank. But good to see you. How are you tuning in? Are you tuning in on YouTube? Nice. Look at you being on YouTube. Normally, you're a Facebook watcher. Um, very cool. So that's what's coming up next week. A lot going on. We got the boy going on. We're going to do uh, no live next week um, for those two reasons. In addition to my son and me wanting to hang out with him before he leaves. Um, got the got the eclipse. And if you're in the path of totality and you're, yeah, we, we have plenty of people. We have tons of people in the chat right now. If you have, if you're in the path of totality, if you even get a glimpse of it and you can safely do so, take a picture of it and email it to me at Christmas on Crestline at gmail.com. And we'll put it into a live and we'll have a chit chat about what everybody saw and stuff. Um, I do ask that it is landscape mode. If you make it vertical, it just doesn't work out too well. So if you can, please, and if you happen to think about it, if you happen to already be doing it, then cool. Um, I guess you wrote an article how great I am. Oh, it sounds like Barney Stinson right there. That's a Barney Stinson-ism right there. Um, popped up for me today. Doesn't usually April Fool. Yes, it's April Fool time for you, ma'am. So, yes, a discount code episode. No live next week. Back in two weeks. Um, I'm going to go... Stop this now. I'm going to crank out that banner video for Giatano. So you guys will get a uh, notification. As long as you have your notifications, like Patty just said, uh, click to all. And you also have, to, I get that asked a lot. Patty says, hey, YouTube doesn't usually notify me. One of your settings you have in YouTube in general is, is it allow you, do you allow it to send you notifications? If you don't, then it usually doesn't tell you any of your, your favorite shows that you watch. Um, I have... Like hot ones, I, I like hot ones a lot. I don't know if you guys watch hot ones. I love hot ones. Gina and I had some uh, million Scoville wings this weekend. Freaking tasty. Normally, I don't like ghost pepper, but these were awesome. Hot as all get out, but awesome. Um, so that's what we got going on, guys. And I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to sit around and hang out with me and hang out with everybody else in the chat. Um, that was awesome of you. So that's it for today. Next Monday, a lot of big national stuff. Take a picture, send it to me. Um, and we'll be back in two weeks talking about giveaways. We'll be doing a giveaway in two weeks. That it could even be a sponsored video. Could even be a sponsored video. Uh, talking to, to the love power about that now. Do some editing. We'll see you guys in two weeks. Let me queue up my uh, stuff here. And also, thank you for uh, for sending that in, Monty. That's awesome. That banner right there. That's good looking stuff. Uh, boom. That's it for me today, guys. I'm Charlie. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.